Hey guys, we're back at Sweet and Savory with Anya. We're gonna be making a really nice moist vanilla cake with frosting or like buttercream as I like to say. But before I do do that, I just want to say I'm making this cake for my mom and I love her so that's why I'm making this cake for her. And yeah, without further ado, let's begin this video. And wait one second, before we do begin this video and start making the wonderful cake and the wonderful buttercream, I just want to show you guys, look at the cake. I mean like, look at it. It looks so nice. Like in the end, I can't believe I've made this cake and accomplished so much. Like I feel like this is like the best cake I've ever made because it's actually the only cake I've made on my own. So yeah, let's begin this video. So these are the ingredients that we will need, as you can see. We will be needing two eggs. 3 4 a cup of sugar, and by the way, this is all for the cake, not for the buttercream. 1 teaspoon of vanilla essence, and I am also using pink food coloring because I know I really like the color pink and my mom does too, so I'm using a tiny little bit of pink, uh, you know, food coloring. You could, This is like an optional step if you do not like the color pink or if you do not like, uh, like color, and you could just make it without the coloring. We will also be using 1 4th of a cup of vegetable oil and I'm using that instead of butter because I feel it's better than butter like in my recipe but you can use butter if you want but I don't know how much you should use so yeah and also 1 4th cup of milk and for our last ingredient for our beautiful cake beautiful and moist cake we're gonna be needing 1 cup of self-raising flour now let's begin making our beautiful cake so the first step we're gonna be needing to we're gonna need to do is take a bowl and add two eggs in there and three fourths cup of sugar and mix with the mixer. You can mix it by hand, but it will take a long time, okay? And after mixing, it should this this should be the consistency and it should be really nice. Now we add one teaspoon of vanilla essence and one fourth cup of milk and one fourth cup of vegetable oil. And now we mix again until it's this consistency. Now as you can see, this cake mixture right now, it's so runny and watery. And what's gonna save it all is the one cup of self-raising flour. Add that in and then mix again until you get this beautiful, nice texture. And now what we're gonna do is we're gonna add a little, little, you can see I just added like a little bit of pink food coloring. You have to add how much you want depending on how strong you want the color to be. I didn't want it to be that strong, but like too like hot pink, so I only added like a teeny tiny little bit. And yeah. But you can decide if you want to add more or if you want the color to be really less. Now what you do is you grease your pan with butter, or I like to put some baking paper in my pan. Now your beautiful pink batter can go into your cake pan and um yeah so now you can put it in the oven for around 40 minutes you can put it in the oven for 100 at 180 degrees celsius now while our beautiful moist cake is baking put a nice big bowl into the freezer for 30 minutes just to tell you guys why i'm doing that is because when you make when you whip the cream um the cold nest of the bowl will make it really nice and it will make it form stiff peaks easier so you better not skip this step please put your bowl inside the freezer for 30 at least 30 minutes if you can do more than 30 minutes please do that and uh while i was waiting for my 30 minutes of the bowl inside my cake so i just have to like take my cake out and put the skewer in there to see if it's you know baked and if you're and mine was my skewer was really nice and clean when I pulled it out. That means the cake is ready. So I took it out. Now let your cake, you know, um, cool down. And while the cake is cooling down, my bowl was ready. So I took it out of the freezer. And what I did was now we're gonna make the nice buttercream. For the making the buttercream, these are the ingredients that you will need. So in the cake, my caster sugar actually finished, like in the 
I, so I couldn't use caster sugar in the buttercream, unfortunately. So what you do to make caster sugar yourself is take raw sugar and powder it. And that's what I did. So that's the first thing you will need. One fourth of a cup of raw sugar powdered. <laughs> I'm also using pink food coloring in this since we're going with all the pink and strawberry kind of themed. So I'm using pink food coloring in this too. Again, that's optional if you want. And we're also going to take strawberries. Now I only had four strawberries left, unfortunately. But I'm begging you, if you have more strawberries in your home, then please put it in the middle of the cake. And because it because it will really bring like it will really balance the flavors more nicer. But since I only had four, I just used it for decoration. And finally, you will need 200 grams of thickened cream. Now take your bola out of the freezer after it's been 30 minutes or longer. And now you can add the one fourth cup of sugar in there and the 200 grams of thickened cream. And now whip it with your whisk. Now that that does take a long time like i explained in my mousse video it takes like five minutes and your arm will like hurt so much i'm telling you but just keep whipping it until it forms stiff peaks and just before some forms stiff peaks now you can add the one teaspoon of um vanilla essence it's optional i didn't want to add it so i didn't add it and uh yes and now if you're adding food color you can add that in and i just put like a tiny little bit because i don't want it to be too pink just like the cake guys i am so proud of the buttercream it looks so pink and so cute i love it so much now that we're done with that you can just put, pop it in the fridge for around five minutes and now we're finally gonna like layer up our cake so what you're gonna do is you're only needing one cake the cake that we made before you're gonna half it so half the cake in the middle from the middle and put one side on the side and take the buttercream and put it inside nicely so it's all like layered and now you can put the second the the second part of the cake on top and then layer nicely now it is like a cake made at home so you don't have to be but like perfection if you make a few mistakes it's fine and now what you can do you can add some strawberries i did this really good cool design with mine and yeah this is the end of this video See you guys next time. Goodbye. I really hope you like this video. Please like, subscribe, and turn on the post notification bell so you'll be notified every single time I post another video. And please comment down below. I love reading you guys' comments. So yeah, see you guys next time. Oh yeah, and a really happy birthday to my mom.